So now that we uh, kind of covered delays in depth, I want to go back into this project. So again, all of my effects are coming to these auxiliary channels. Let's take a closer look at just the vocals. So you can see how we did this. Again, you're going to want to have your I.O. showing, your sends and inserts. Again, that's from this drop-down menu. So let's slow out the vocal. Well, I know what you're doing. I see it all too clear. I only... You can see I'm sending this to different buses. The inputs of each auxiliary channel are assigned a bus right here, and I can control what is being sent to it from this send section. So let's say, for example, I don't have any of this set up. Deleted that. And I want this piano to be sent to its own independent reverb. I'm going to go to Track, New, Stereo, Auxiliary input. I'm doing a stereo input because we're using stereo effects. We'll find that aux input. Default label is auxiliary one, aux one. I'm going to label it by double clicking on the track. Reverb one. I'm going to solo that too so we could hear it. Uh, so you're going to see the inputs. This reverb one has no input. So I'm going to assign that to a bus. We'll take 49 and 50, just any arbitrary bus that's not being used. So now when I go up to the send section of this piano, I can bus it to 49 and 50. It shows up yellow because I have it assigned somewhere. And use this fader that pops up to control the level that's going to that reverb. Uh, first, let's put on a reverb and see how that works. It's actually the same as this wet and dry mix. I can use this to control it. Uh, it frees up processing power. I can send multiple instruments to the same reverb without having to adjust the parameters on each track. It's very, it's a very efficient way to use effects with effects sends and returns. So here's our piano. As I'm pushing up this reverb. It's showing up here. Uh, so there you have it, using effects, sends, and returns. Uh, you can also use this same concept to group channels, so to speak, or what I call parallel processing. Uh, so let's use the vocals as a good example. Right now, they're both being sent to outputs one and two. What if I kind of want to process them the same with EQ or compression or just control dynamically what's going on? We'll create a new track, stereo, aux input, create. So this time, I want both of these channels, these pink vocal channels, to come through the auxiliary channel before my main outputs. So... How am I going to do that? Again, go to the bus menu, select a bus that's not being used, and now you'll see my vocal channels are going through routed to output 1 and 2. Instead, I'm going to route them to that bus channel. So now you can see... Getting a fool for another day. They're all routed to that bus channel. Uh, so there you have it. A little introduction to workflow with auxiliary channels.